What's up guys? Welcome back to Bassin HD. We are out here on the Chattahoochee River again. Actually gonna be going after a little bit different species of bass. We're going after a shoal bass. Uh, they're only native to three river uh, systems. So most likely unless y'all are from the part of the world that I am, you probably haven't caught one. So if y'all ever get a chance to come anywhere, maybe go try and catch one if you ever get, you know, time to get get down here to the south. But uh, last time I came out here, I caught a pretty good one. Uh, 20 and three quarter inch to be exact not my personal best but it was close to it so we're gonna go up here fish some heavy current see if we can't catch one y'all just stick with me i haven't made a video in a few days uh, i apologize i haven't been feeling too well but uh y'all sit with me it's gonna be a good time see y'all all right guys going up the <clears throat> what i call the chute pretty hard current to get up you could go around the left side of this island just drag around but too easy, I guess. Well, we're definitely not alone today, folks. That's all right. I'm going above them. We're going up there to the falls. That was a fish. No! There's one, that's a good one. Good sholey. That's what we came here for, folks. Look at that nice sholey right there. Beautiful fish. Beautiful shoal bass, guys. Beautiful. Gonna let her go. And she's gone. took my worm that was a good bite nope nope ah. all right we gotta go pick up a trash Guys, don't litter, ever. Especially if it's in water. <coughs> Excuse me. More fish and turtles die from litter from us than any other thing in the world. So y'all pick up your trash. See if we can't get a follow-up bite. Probably not. That was a good bite though. There's good one. In the fall. I did not expect to see one up there. Woo. Come here. 
Oh, you hooked me. This son of a gun just threw a tree frog. Look, look at that. That just came out of that fish's mouth. Right, little buddy. Huh. Oh, he's on my boat. It is a first time for everything. Beautiful little shawl bass, real dark colored. All right, girl. Huh. She said goodbye. <laughs> well, I got a bug now. He's on the back of my kayak. Just have more attitude. Nice little shoulder right there. Y'all probably can't hear me, but at least y'all can see it. Bitty guy. Little showy. All right, guys. We are finally back down to some calm water. Now I can talk to y'all and y'all can hear me and it's not so deafening. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. But Sometimes you gotta go do what you gotta do to catch fish. And we caught four up there, so that's good. Letting all the water from the waterfall out of my boat. If y'all are wondering why my front hatch is missing, well, I may or may not have lost it in the middle of catching a large mouth. Big large mouth. But <clears throat> fishing the tournament, got tangled up in a tree after, while I'm trying to reel this fish in and I don't know what happened to it. It normally has a bungee cord tied to it and the bungee cord sitting right there. But uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but it's gone. But I kind of like not having it because I throw my soft plastics up there and I can just reach up here, grab them, you know, do as they, get them as I go. All right, go over here and throw a shaky head around these trees and See if we can't pull out a large mouth or a spot. Maybe we can get a three fish or a three bass slam today. Which would be a large mouth, a spot, and a showley. Which is doable. I've done it just about every time I come, but I want to do it with a sizable, a couple sizable fish and not just some little bitty ones. So I got some sizable showleys, so now we just got to get a sizable large mouth and a spot. There's fish. I don't know what it is, it's good. Oh, little bitty spot. <laughs> little bitty spot, they fight so hard. Not as hard as a showy, but they fight. There you go guys, a little spot. Well, I got a spot. <laughs> Let's see if I can upgrade it.
Come down, little guy. Look at that little guy. Y'all, if y'all ever get a chance to go catch a shoal bass, do everybody a favor. I mean, I ain't even gonna say everybody. Do the fish a favor and let them go. They're not, I mean, they're not like a large mouth or a spot where, I mean, they're just abundant all over the country, you know. You've never heard of a largemouth bass shortage or a spotted bass shortage, you know. it. <clears throat> but these shoal bass, there's something, there's something special about them. I mean, they're, they're migratory. Huh, a bit more of them. They're migratory. Like I said earlier, they're only in, I believe it's three different river systems, and yes, they are. They have been introduced in a few other small rivers and creeks and they're going to be in the creeks and tributaries of the of the main body's water that they're coming from but they're just not worldwide or region wide i mean they're in the southeast below the fall line um in the i don't even know what you call it I mean, I'm not a shoal bass expert, but I mean, I have been fishing for them for several years, and one of my probably the probably my favorite species of bass to catch. Um, they dive like a spot, they jump like a smallmouth. They got the appetite of a largemouth. They kind of all three of your main bass species just kind of wrapped up in one, and. And the state of Alabama, they're critically endangered and protected. So you cannot keep one if you catch one. I wish everywhere was like that, but unfortunately it is not. So if y'all ever get to catch one, y'all let it go. Don't keep it. If you catch a giant or if you catch one that you want to mount, just get a replica mount done. Get some good measurements, some good pictures, a good weight. And that's all you need to get them out of. I mean, you don't have to, you ain't got to kill the fish. Y'all just, y'all just remember that. She landed in the boat then jumped out the boat. Got it. Big Shelly. Big Shelly. On the glide bait. There was like seven of them. 
Big shot on the ground. 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 Woo! Look at that. Big Shelly on the glide. All right, girl, please don't hook me. Yeah, you're fatty. That is, or you're long. You're not too fat, but you are long. There you go, guys. Big Shelly on the glide bait. That's the, that is the 13 Glidesdale. It's actually the first time I've ever used it. I've had it for a while. And, uh, yeah. Huh, I got a three pound largemouth. That whole school of fish that I just caught this one out of is just swimming under my boat. Almost like they know I've got their friend. But, uh, yeah, we can get her back in order in just a second, get a couple pictures of her. She was hooked, that's for sure. Long shoulder, she done spawned out, so she's a little skinny. But uh, she's definitely on her way back up. Stop, girl. Definitely on her way back up to filling her weight back in. Let's see, I'm gonna say she's 19 three quarters. Oh, no, if you pinch her tail, she's 18 and three quarters. Well, oh, she's not calming down. No, don't jump in the water. There we go. That gummit, she quit flopping. She quit. Man, if I was fishing MLF tour tournament, I would have so many penalties right now. All right, let's let her go. There you go, girl. Go. All right, guys, we are loaded up. It has been an eventful day. Caught a few up at the falls. Um, got down to that deeper hole, caught a couple more, lost one at the boat, had a giant follow the glide. Um, hopefully y'all were able to see that. I did catch one on the glide and then my camera died, so I didn't realize it. Kept fishing for about 30 minutes long, longer, throwing nothing but the glide bait. And I had probably, I'm gonna say 20. 25 different fish well i say different fish i mean some of them might have been the same ones um following that glide and i actually had one take it i just missed the hook set um it grabbed the hook i could see the teeth marks on the bait where the where the fish actually bit where the hook was um i don't know what happened i just i blew the hook set she was about the same size as the other one so not a giant but a, a solid fish but hope y'all enjoyed it didn't do a whole lot of talking today it was a loud very very loud location that i'm at and uh so i didn't get to do a whole lot of talking but hopefully y'all enjoyed it and i hope y'all the new people to my channel hope y'all comment down below and subscribe to it show a little bit of love it'll be greatly appreciated but uh until next time y'all stay safe and tight lines